Welcome back awesome Astroid fans and subscribers. I have another Acid Rain review today. I'm going to review the entire stealth set together in one video as opposed to doing three separate videos. Uh, so this video might be a little bit on the longer side. Now bear in mind we have seen the uh, Wildebeest bike before so that part won't be too quick. Let me rephrase that. Won't be too long rather. Uh, be a bit quicker because you have seen it before. Um, but there are some new things on this which we'll look at in a bit more detail. Uh, so without further ado, I will start. I am going to put in the description where each part is. And I'm going to start with the Stealth Team Trooper. Stealth Trooper set here with the bike. So nice artwork showing the bike, the trooper and a couple of the flying drones on there. Sides, just logo, Toys Alliance. Bottom one, this is a toy. Back, it shows you what's inside. So you have the Stealth Trooper, Stealth Wildebeest, Nightwing Military Drone times one, AP2 Pistol times two, AAR7 Assault Rifle times one, Iron Fist Trench Knife times one, Huntsman Combat Knife times one. Uh, this should be pretty cool. So there's, uh, it looks like the, the uh, apart from the paintwork, maybe the mask or helmet is slightly different now. My other, my other Acid Rain stuff is not here in China. I've sent it back to Malaysia, to my house that's being built over there. So hopefully sometime in the future I have all my stuff in one location. I can give you guys a sort of a tour of my uh, workshop, stroke toys room, stroke YouTube studio, whatever. And you guys can see my collection, all the other sort of nonsense that I have lying around. Okay, so let's open this up. Now I should really have a nice ruler for this. I can use this maybe without the blades. Have a look. Because I don't want to damage my box and, I, and I'm using a knife. That's really clever. But the blunt side. Okay. That was just enough Whew. to open it without cutting. The only thing I don't like about these ones is the fact that you don't get a crate. But that's just a small thing. Okay, so nothing else in there. Interestingly, the bike comes pre-assembled. Well, you've had the ones in the boxes like this before. You have to push together the uh, front wheels to the rest of the bike. Uh, this, I believe, is not taped on. Yeah, not taped on. So let's get the uh, bike out first. Well, I tell a lie, it isn't assembled. It just looks like it looked like it was. Okay, assembled now. The colour scheme on this is really nice. With that dark burgundy maroon sort of wine colour. Same bike we've seen before, got the stealth logo on there, the colour scheme, the painting. It's gentle it's subtle but it looks really good and rather than having like the mud guard in the back we have the uh stow section for the drone really really nice 118 scale bike great for your gi joe acid rain and other lines of figures too that is really really good i like that a lot i will put in suggested videos a link to the main review for the uh Wildebeest bikes, which I've done previously, you can watch that. But so I won't go into too much on this now. But the detail, detailing, the paintwork on this is really, really something quite cool. That's nice. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause this video and turn on another light to get slightly better lighting on the bike, and hopefully that make a difference. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm not sure that light's making any difference. I think it might. I hope it is. Okay, so that bike. Change that camera a little bit. It does look really quite nice. I like that a lot. Okay, so we also have a box with the two assault rifles in. Hmm, it's interesting. Have a quick look at them back again. Okay, so you look on the back, it says you have bike times one, which I've got. Trooper times one, which I have got. 
it says drone times one which i've got pistol times two which i've got assault rifle times one and two knives but i've got it comes with two um other comes with another extra gun which is not listed on the back so missing some information there so that's just something i just noticed okay so these guns we have seen before so this is really nice this was with the sand bunker set i believe with the soldier there that does look really cool nice color scheme again that sort of metalish color and that sort of burgundy red and then just the metalish color sort of a little machine gun here and again the all the guns come with drilled barrels which i absolutely adore so two there uh trooper is here here we have his two pistols now he does have two holsters so he can have one in each leg we've seen his pistols previously too they are nice and still have draw barrels despite being stopping despite things uh, despite being so small this part i'm not sure what that is yet there is no joint there but it's going to be for the drone i think yes the drone head on the back okay i can see that uh knife will stow away and that knife should stow away too and we have our trooper so let's see so we have this part here where this knife can easily go onto have the blade going that way i think like thus very simple the back the knife will just go straight into one of the uh, slots so this blade is slightly bigger And the slots here. Now I know this, I know this does fit, so I've seen it before on the other guys and fitted it on. There we go. So one knife there, one knife there. Pretty cool. Uh, I'll put his pistols into his holsters. He will hold them exceptionally well. Very, very tight. They won't come out. Uh, he has the control on his wrist, which I just noticed for the uh, drone, which is a new feature we've not seen before. Uh, the new head, which we saw previously too, is really nice. That gas mask is very different to other ones. So it does differentiate, which is nice from the other, a lot of the other acid rain or old acid rain stuff. Okay, pistols are in. Put his hat back on. Okay, so articulation I've done previously on other reviews of the same thing, but I will show anyway with his gear on. So head, he gets a left and a right, he gets a down and an up, he does get a side to side, but it's a bit limited with the helmet. Helmet off, he gets more motion, take the vest off, even more motion again. Shoulders, don't go so high on these new ones, they only go to here, which is a real shame. Really, really quite poor there. But they are on a ball, so they can do that. Uh, bicep curl, however, though, is really, really quite good. It's way over 90 degrees on both hands. Uh, wrist articulation, both hands are like this. There is a uh, trunk and waist, but it's hidden underneath his vest. Hips, it will get to a certain point, then the guns being in the holsters will stop his legs going any further. Forwards is great, backwards is not too bad, but his belt gets in the way of both forwards and backwards. He does have a double knee joint, but with the holster, in fact, even with the holster, he gets a really, really tight bend, which is really, really good. And on the ankle rocker, he has a really good tippy toes. And uh, the sculpt gets in the way slightly of his muckle Jackson. He also can turn his feet around and slant. So he can do some really good action poses with his feet and legs, getting a pretty good uh, range of motion for posing him and supporting him. There you go. Very, very quick pose 
which a lot of figures would struggle to do or to hold. Almost like a ninjutsu pose. Pretty cool. Um, I like him a lot. He does look cool. Okay, I'm going to give you a slightly better look at him. I stick him slightly closer to the camera and give him a little turn. The color scheme is great. The sculpting is good. The articulation is great. And just want to show you the control on his wrist for the drone. It's basic. It does come off though. It looks like a Game Boy, which is pretty awesome. You can play as a Nintendo Game Boy on the go. You've got the green screen. Um, and that's just a clip on. Now the clip is quite hard plastic. So if that's stuck on anything for way too long or in the sun, it will start to de 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 deteriorate over quite a long time. But you need to be we're just wary of that. Okay, the drone, very simple, just one piece of plastic, great detail with the engines and the colouring, but there's a joint here we can turn up, and there's a joint on the other side as well, but nothing on there, and to this joint you can attach the drone head, and I'm going to see on the box art which way they have the drone head. Dun 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 dun... Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so that should have been self-explanatory, but I wanted to double check anyway. They have it. Oh, let me ask me quite a tight fit. Whew. In fact, it doesn't make a difference. It's the ball joint. I just turn it, twist it. <laughs> that does not want to go into there. I may have to heat this up. Because that is quite a sizable difference in hole compared to the joint. Okay, it is short, so there's not much chance of breaking it. But, however, I don't want to take that risk. So let me just try one more time to see. Yeah, that ain't going in in a hurry. So I'm going to heat this up. And then I will try to expand it and pop it back in place. And hopefully it will all... Be good um, so I'll be back in a moment once I've done that stay tuned okay I've done that popped it on didn't take long very easy to go on now it's pretty damn cool um, one thing I did notice though it's got this little thing at the bottom here this little foot so you can't go as far forwards that way as you perhaps would like same with the other side. If I turn it backwards, however, obviously it goes far forward, more forwards, but I'm guessing it goes that way, or maybe that way. The box shows that way. But I'll just double check the art on that again. Yeah. So the box shows this way. It looks really nice. I like the fact it's got handles so the guys can hold it. Also, it'll just slot in very nicely. Let me see. It should be underneath here and through there. Is that right? Yeah, so also slots in very, very securely to the back of your wildebeest. Very simply, that does look pretty damn cool. Okay, so that is the Stealth Trooper set which is good value, you get the bike, the trooper, the drone, you get the guns, one of these guns is not listed on the back of the box, but that's okay, pretty damn cool. Let's move this out of the way slightly and put this one to the side for now and come back to that. Okay, next, let's do the uh, Ajax Hoplitae, is it Hoplitae? Hoplitae, maybe someone can help me on the uh, pronunciation there. So... He comes with a whole heap of stuff on the back because they have taken his armor off in the photograph there. Let's open him up and have a look. And then and I've gone up, I've all these up. I'll do a few comparisons with each with them with each other and some other figures too from some other lines. Okay, so this is the crate ones. I do like these crates, they're rather cool. He comes all armoured up, and just his guns are separate. has the same guns we saw. 
exactly the same guns we saw. Um, but no knives inside here, unless he comes pre-packaged with them. Let's see if there's anything underneath the foam. Not here. And not here. Now I check under the foam because with the AMM Trooper, which was an exclusive, and I put it out to the videos, there was like a booklet underneath the foam, which is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, no knives, and he has no... No, he does have a position for knives, maybe. He's got these two little... You can see in the back, maybe. There's his... These are his holsters. He's got two things here and here, which have got gaps, which I guess one of the knives could fit down, maybe. In fact, let me have a try. Let's take out the combat knife and the trench knife and see if there's any crossover on, on that. Can he put something down there? Let's have a look. It's too, slightly too small for this one. And this knife, I think, would fit, but it's going to stab him in the bum if you if you put it much deeper, which is a shame. Never mind. Okay. So the weapons are the same. He looks like uh, the new style for Seti armor. For Seti was an old, much older uh, acid rain toy. Again, I'll put in suggested videos if I have enough space in my suggested videos or anything. Um, I like the look of this. It's really kind of like a space look, high tech armor look. You know, it can take a few shots of that armor, that's for sure. Articulation, this sort of hat we've seen before, it does open up to reveal the face, and the mask does come off to show the head. The only thing I will say about this is if I take this guy's hat off, if we can compare heads, this head is visibly bigger. But to be fair to a uh, toy notch and acid rain, the difference is not as big as it used to be. So that is something. So this is almost like the uh, laurel helmet for the laurel pilot. Okay, so arms again, they don't get great on the upwards I think if I force that much more something will break or the art or the shoulder pop out which is a real shame they do have a get this amazing bicep curl now he's got loads of armor on and so he's getting just about 90 degrees with his armor there's the shoulder roll which is great I like that but not at the expense of the shoulder um, there's waist, there should be trunk under the armor, which is quite difficult. Hips about the guns, not too bad. Forwards, pretty cool. Backwards, pretty cool. Put the guns in, he'll lose that a lot. He's got the foot armor on, so his feet are big, which means he's going to stand up really easily. So he is a pleasure to actually uh, pose and stand up with these big sort of armored feet he's got. Same with the stealth trooper, the guns will go in the, into the... Uh, holsters and they will stay there uh, these guns are the same guns these guns aren't going anywhere once they're in there so you're not going to lose those in a hurry okay uh let's say he holds the guns i didn't show up with the other stealth trooper but um the stealth trooper will probably hold his gun better than this guy because his armor is going to restrict articulation slightly if we go for the long gun first of all Now what's really good about Acid Rain World figures, they make the guns, the stock fits into the arm. A lot of figures, the stock's too long and it's got to go on the outside all the time, which is like a guard pose, not a shooting pose. So let's see, his arm is going to get away slightly, but he still can stretch, let's see. You can do it buddy, stretch. There you go. Even with the armour, stock in, he can hold both handles of the gun. And look pretty cool. Though doing some dynamic shooting poses will be more difficult with the armor on. That's pretty damn impressive. I like that a lot. Um, I'm going to put him just by the camera and give him a little turn for you guys to have a look. You see, he's got these uh, logo there and there.
and also we know we've got stealth teams in the b25 range so i'm assuming that maybe and it's also the similar logo and the dots that these are similar i might actually ask kit about this and see what he says they're the same team just in different scales okay while you're having a quick look at him i'm just going to pose the other one with his long gun and see the difference in how he holds it because he has less armor or less bulky armor in the way to restrict his articulation and how he holds things in fact he, straight away i can see he's going to hold this far more easily than the other guy than the uh i forgot his name already than the ajax hop litai or litai Yep, but he still struggles slightly with a couple of the shooting poses. But that is acceptable. He can shoot better than this one. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like this figure a lot. Um... I like the, the original Facetti, though. Some people didn't like them because the, the arm was a bit too bulky, but it does look cool. And there was little pouches and stuff. The armor does come off. It's removable. Um, the feet articulation is really good, despite being such big feet. He doesn't get a Michael Jackson, really, though. That's as far as he'll go. Um, but his posing and his balancing, because of these big feet, is going to be absolutely phenomenal so that's so easy and so fast bang and he's there bang and he's there really easy really fast Oop. stand up great great figure And the joints come out the packaging they are nice they're not too stiff not too uh not too loose um it's just this shoulder is annoying me that it doesn't go any more than that if i push the shoulder joint up it doesn't go down it doesn't move much more i will try one more time with this guy down and up no up and up no back and up yeah, it's just not enough on the shoulder, which is a shame. Okay, now we go to the last one. This is the one that I'm most looking forward to. This is the Camel Bot. Um, so it shows he has two assault rifles um, and some connectors, it looks like. I'm most looking forward to him because this is like obviously completely different to the others in that it's a bot and not a human. And also, it's going to be, it's got a different joint system because the joints has got in the center. It looks quite different as well. Okay, so again, we've got the crate. There's also the Stealth Talos, which is an exclusive, which I've reviewed previously. And again, I'll put that in the suggested video somewhere. Oh, he's a, he's huge. He's a big boy. And it comes with instructions. Thank God for that. And these guns are new, or they appear to be new. Which is another great thing. Okay, so he has a couple of joints in there. Instructions and this joint piece here, which I think is to attach the guns to. Let's look at the guns first. Oh, these are beautiful. Square barreled, rectangle barreled. Drilled barrel. These look so nice. Very, very nice. The design is fantastic. Very sci-fi. The color scheme, again, I like already. Uh, we have two little joints. You can see that against my skin there. Like this. And we have another bag. And inside this bag, we have what? Let's have a look. At another two connecting pieces. Like this. 
and then we have the figure and he just looks absolutely amazing huge as well i may have to get another one two three four five or six of these um i just think for custom work for doing sci-fi stuff these are great already just having a look beautiful system okay we'll look at more in a second we we'll get instructions out first uh, nice instructions because it's highlighted the part that needs to move or change, which is fantastic. So it shows him, it shows how to make the Talos the exclusive. Uh, which I've put in this videos previously at the bottom here and it shows uh, let me see where the joints are on here when this one where the parts connect where these parts connect which is to his chest and back it also shows I'm not sure what that part is there boom 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 Ah, sorry, this part, I didn't see this part. Also shows this uh, joint part as well, connecting. So I'll just show you a quick look at instructions here. And the bottom shows you how to make the Talos. Uh, this is why I'm going to spend like four hours and boring you guys of trying to work this out. But before we work out, uh, put the parts on. Let's have a look at the figure himself. So he's, geez, he is massive. So he stands up very tall. Give you an idea, this is the stealth trooper. You see, you see the uh, huge difference, and this is the guy, the Ajax Hopolite. Hopolite. He's huge. So articulation. In fact, let me add these parts on first because that's probably be a wise thing to do. They go which way? This way on. Okay, so in there. And then, okay, I see. That feels like it should be tighter than it is. It just feels a bit too loose of my liking. And I don't think they fit in any left or right side, but they're quite soft, bendable, pliable, bendable plastic, which is, in this case, a good thing. So you don't actually break it trying to get it into place. There's one. And here is number two. Okay, that's better. That one's in quite tight. This one not as much so. Okay, it's in now. Okay, so those parts connect there. I don't think they'll limit the articulation too much, but let's have a look. So head is a left and a right, down, very far down. And you can swivel up, look very far up. He has a side to side here. Uh, shoulders, really good, look at that. Uh, bicep bends a double elbow joint you know you can't get tighter than that bang amazing he's also on a ball on the shoulders so you can roll his shoulders he has the upper waist here which is turned side to side forwards backwards uh, no lower waist hips not too far but that's okay forwards He'll go up and out slightly and backwards. He'll go out so he gets sort of over a full front splits easily. Double kneecap, really big joint. So he gets a very tight bend here. On the feet. There is a turn, a boot turn. There's no swivel. He gets a 
OK Ballerina. And he gets a pretty good Michael Jackson. He is great. Shame there's no swivel on the actual boot as well, but that doesn't matter. He is just he is amazing. Okay, so these parts are on. Uh, this part, where does this go from where to where? So this will clip on to, let's have a look. Clip onto the back here. And that will go up, and there are two holes in his back that will clip to. There's a joint on this as well. Like thus. Um, his guns, they've got them stowed like this. So, no, that can't be right. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, his guns can stow on this. However, that you might have to unclip unless they turn. Does that turn? Let's have a look. Aha! Okay, so these little parts here on the side, they twist separately. To the joint in the top. So when he's in his uh, mode here, his robot mode, his humanoid mode, you can stow the guns on his back very, very easily. I still don't know what these parts are for here. So I'm looking, looking, looking. Look. Okay, these parts, if you want to make the uh, Talos figure, so not needed for this guy himself. So now his guns are stowed in the back. He does look badass. He, he's so big, he's so tall, he looks amazing. I, I think I have found my new favourite Acid Rain figure, or definitely in my top three. Just that look and the size and so on. Okay, let's change him into the dog mode, or the... Uh, other mode. So for this, let me see. So we can take that out of here. Okay, I see, I see. That will come out. Head will come up. Arms will come here. And this will come. So I didn't show his wrist. He has wrist articulation here, and it's on a swivel. This will come here. And after I'll see how he holds his guns as well. The joint in his extra joint in his body okay Almost there, and to just get a bit of a different uh, angle on his legs to get his feet to the position they're supposed to be. Okay, so they got that going that way, and then this going this way. Okay, that's better. 
So you can actually do a break knee pose, as in your kneecaps are broken, but that'll get the uh, the uh, dog-like look out of him here. And then the guns can just flip the over completely. Which way around? Let me see it this way. He's not level on his legs, I want to get him level. The back leg keeps coming up. Okay. That is awesome. His gun's a bit lopsided because of his waist. That is amazing. I like both modes, but I do prefer the uh, humanoid mode as opposed to this sort of uh, hound or camel, I guess, because camel bot, camel mode. Um, very, very nice indeed. I do like this a lot. Okay, I'm just going to quickly transform him back again and see how he holds uh, his weapons and then put him with the other team. They're making some comparisons with some other figures. And then I will end this video. Really worked like 36 minutes, which is a long video for me. And I'm sure I'm boring some of you guys. So for that, I do apologize in advance. Uh, but nonetheless, I think this does warrant a long review because it is so damn good. I get him to a standing up position. He stands really easy. He's got stiff joints out of the box, which is awesome. It's actually quite easy to stand up just from... from out of the box okay so his hands are just like uh and uh again quite rubbery like acid rain generally is so i really do prefer that uh, 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 uh. Holds that rather nicely. And I can stow the I'll keep the album stowed on his back for now. So when he has this thing clipped on his back, it does stop his waist articulation, which is a shame. I just unclip it for the time being. No, I'll keep it clipped on for the time being. So we have the camel bot give you a look. And a turn around there. Stands tall. Holds the gun particularly well. We have the Stealth Trooper. Who comes with the uh, Wildebeest with the drone on the back. And we have the Ajax. Is it Hoplit AI? Or Hoplit AI? I, I don't know. Someone can tell me. Yeah. Stealth team is pretty damn good. Then you have the Stealth Talos, which they show you how to make if you buy extra on the bottom, if you didn't get the, didn't get the exclusive. This is really damn nice. Okay, I'm doing a couple of comparisons to some other figures, as most people nearly always ask me for that. So, um, actually, first I'll look at the Prospect again, just to show something on the Prospect. So, she's got a similar shoulder system, and her shoulders go higher. 
her shoulders go to almost flat and then they'll pop out a joint so her shoulders are slightly better than these guys for articulation maybe because she's less bulky okay so let's compare to let me see um swat figure from joy toy great figure scale is great as you'd expect Uh, let's, in fact, I'm going to compare the camel bot. Let's compare them to some robotic figures. Let's use uh, AIM from Fortnite, which is like an amazing robot figure. You see the size difference. Dum, dum, dum. And if I use another one, I use a War of Order Heavy Trooper, which is another sort of robot figure. bit loose in his joints but again you can see the size difference great great figures in the stealth team well worth uh, the money getting them if you can't afford all of them and then the recommendation is if you want the uh, bike and trooper obviously you go for the stealth trooper set if you want the uh, sci-fi more for the uh, camel bot more for heavy trooper then you go for the ajax Oplatai, really, really nice figures, well worth investing the money in. I will have to get at least one or two more of these uh, for my own verse, my own universe, or my own sci-fi customs. I think is amazing. I actually prefer them without the back piece because then he has better weight. He has the waist articulation, and without the uh, shoulder stroke back pieces, which aren't so easy to get out once they're in. I've just found out. Ah, there we go. There's one, and there's two. Great toys. Okay, so this is awesome action toys, and I am signing out saying please like share and subscribe i'll be back some more awesome national videos over here for you stay happy and keep collecting and please lick uh, please lick no don't lick please click on the subscribe button um and share and click on the notification button and stay up to date with the updates okay bye bye